Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Just down here by the Fulton Fishing Pier, Fulton, Texas. That's the pier with all the green lights at night. Looks real pretty, all lit up. Aransas Bay. About 8.45 a.m. Woke up this morning. Na, 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 na. <laughs> it was uh, 79 degrees. Only 84 degrees with the heat index. Not bad at all. I think I'm going to add to my list of things to learn. The names of the clouds. Something I should have learned in, what, fourth grade? I guess I was asleep that week. <laughs> hey, Jamie Macon. I loved your latest train video, my friend. Do me a favor. Roll my intro. Aransas Bay Bait Company, live and dead bait, table shrimp. This is Fulton Harbor. And I do love looking at the boats. Someone suggested, and it was a really good suggestion, about watching them load and unload. And I have no idea what time they would do that. They don't fish on a schedule as far as I know. I'm sure there's tides and things like that that affect them every day. Or maybe I'm wrong. What do I know? Saw a nice lady at the bait stand a few minutes ago and she said... Have a great day. And I'm like, that is good advice. <laughs> and if you're not having a great day, make it a great day. Every day shouldn't be a, a chore, a misery. Remember when we were younger? You'd get up and go to work. And when work was done, that's when the day started. You get done at five, you still have six, seven, eight hours before you have to go to sleep. What do we do now that we're old? Five o'clock comes, we die. We die. <laughs> we're barely staying awake. We gotta get home. See what Tucker Carlson has to say or Wolf Blitzer. Because we can't form our own opinions. We need <laughs> we need them to tell us what to think. And the big news cycle is the 13 U.S. military personnel that died last week. And that is horrible. And I'm glad to see they're getting recognition. A lot of bars and restaurants are putting 13 beers and 13 chairs out for those 13 service members. And the sad part of that, other than the fact that they're gone, and they had families at home. <laughs> a lot of them aren't even old enough yet to have a legal beer. And they get all the attention that they deserve. I hope their families find peace. But I'm waiting for a bar or restaurant to put out over 6,400 beers and chairs because we've lost well over that many just Americans in Afghanistan over the last 20 years. And I'm not getting political. I'm saying 
All those servicemen and women deserve our respect. The contractors over there that have been killed. It's, uh, it's, it's just amazing the amount. Well over 6,400, and that was a number I got a few weeks ago. So, I'm glad we're out of there. We didn't learn from Vietnam. We didn't learn from a lot of other places that we went in, so hopefully we learned something from this. Usually my idea of keeping up with current events is walking down the book aisle at Walmart and seeing what's new. Cash only. We see that ship a lot, huh? Boat? Can I fit another boat on that? Yeah, I can, I can fit a small boat on that. So I guess that makes it a ship, huh? Look at that egret. Isn't she pretty? Pretty mellow here in the morning. What do you call a prayer that's wearing a wig and sunglasses? That's easy. That's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> I know it's not funny, but at least it's something we haven't heard yet. Or at least I have, and I thought it was good. How rude of people to park by their boats and make me go around. <laughs> well, guys, there's trash in the water floating right there. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get that one, guys. I'm not getting wet this early. Sorry. Here's the nature tours. That's pretty neat. It is pretty cool to watch these guys on Vessel Finder. Can you see that rainbow? But it looks like it's written as two words. So would it say rainbow, like the front of the ship? They got real clever on that one, huh? <laughs> I think if I ever play the lottery and I ever win the lottery, that's the kind of boat I would get. <laughs> it looks really cool. Like, I don't want a, something spiffy and shiny. I want an old, beat-up, comfortable boat. Kiko pump-out system. Hmm. Sanitary pump-out only. Sanitary, huh? Pumpahead.com. I don't even want to know. I'm not going to go to pumpahead.com today. Just checking out the clouds, the boats, steering a little bit. <laughs> Or someone's bike. Yeah. Nice little breeze going too. I got a new microphone. One of you guys actually sent it to me a month or so ago. So I'm using that today. So hopefully no static. Getting tired of shooting a long video and then Listening to static and having to redub it and what a mess. What a mess. Now we stopped here before. 
there is a historical marker right up here and it's probably been about a year or so since we read it but Castelline Fish Company founded by Cecil Weber Castelline in the 1930s his fish house initially sourced fish, oysters, and shrimp from local fishermen, iced the catch in barrels, and shipped them by rail to San Antonio and other destinations. In 1944, Cecil and his father Frank purchased the harbor property and acquired several fishing vessels from other fishermen. Cecil's brother Leslie Eugene joined the business after World War II during the 1950s. The family mostly processed shrimp and oysters. Early boats were purchased, but the family later built their own boats around 40 to 80 feet long, and most were named for family members. In 2015, Casterline Fish Company was sold to Prestige Oysters. However, Casterline Fish Company, company's legacy and influence on Fulton seafood industry remains. And that was put up here in 2016. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Built their own boats, huh? That's pretty cool. Give you a little shot of the water. Well, guys, I appreciate you riding along today. You guys are awesome with your kind comments. My email is in the description of this video. My mailing address. Uh, my PayPal link. My Amazon affiliate link. If you... Uh, if you go into Amazon and use my link, uh, they take care of me. It doesn't cost you anything additional. It is one extra step. It makes you sign in. But uh, yeah, I like that. And uh, oh, my Amazon wish list is on there. I knew I had one more self plug. That's just things I need and. If you want to look at it and make fun of it, it's there. Well, I appreciate y'all checking out the video this evening. Fulton Harbor, Fulton, Texas. Thanks for watching.